Hello, everybody. This is your boy, DJ Tugmaster785, the original Pony Killer, here to give you another video. Uh, and first off, let me, before I start, I want to give kudos out to uh, HeBot. Uh, HeBot did something real nice for me for my birthday. He bought me Assassin's Creed, uh, the new Assassin's Creed. Um, uh, give kudos out to him and his family. They're they are real good people. And um uh, and um uh, Kaleidoscope, you know, we're hoping that everything be okay with you and your family and Ghost Rider too. I know he got people in Puerto Rico too. So, you know, hoping that all their families be, you know, be good and safe. And I'm hoping that, you know, and I'm gonna turn around and try to give some money sometime sometime next month to the families who over there in Puerto Rico. So just bear with me, you know, just be patient. I had to spend a lot of money this week, you know why, on the Xbox X. But, uh, and I want to give Bone his props too. He didn't help me out a whole lot too. And plus, you know, all the people that I do on broadcast, I want to give them all kudos to. Um, Kano, all the boys, you know, those are my boys. You know, we do videos together. And, you know, I love every single one of them. And they, and I hope that they feel the same way about me. But now, since all that is said, let's get this video rolling, okay? Um, you know what, fellas? You know, let's get this out of the way first, okay? This is what you call my new headset that I bought from GameStop. It's an elegant headset. It's a real good headset. Um, it only cost me like $75.33 with tax and all that stuff. And it's a real good headset. So, uh, it's elegant. It's real nice. Um, you got real good cushion and all that stuff. So, the leather's real nice. And it got it, it fills your head up real nice, too. The sound is real nice and everything. But now, since we got all this stuff out the way, uh, let's get down to the main subject. Okay, I was going to do an unveiling of the Xbox X, which I did do. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong, I did do it, and I do got the Xbox X in my house. Um, but the main thing is that when I did my video, and I'm hoping that, you know, that YouTube didn't take offense of that, or or, or Microsoft didn't take, didn't take offense to it either, because I forgot all about it, okay? Um, I kind of put, like, music off the radio onto my video, and I was, wasn't supposed to do that, so... So I apologize to Microsoft and I apologize to YouTube for me doing that and all that stuff. But now, you know, now that's the reason why I'm making up this video right now. Now, this Xbox X is a superior machine. I haven't had any kind of problems with it. Everybody complained about it. it's too heavy and all that stuff. Okay, fellas, please, when you go on vacation and all that stuff, which I, you know, I'm not, I'm saying myself, when I go on vacation, I am not taking my xbox with me at all it is staying at the house when i go on vacation i'm going on vacation to spend time with my family and my wife and all that stuff i don't even care about no damn xbox after that um so with that being said um you know i don't have had any problems with the xbox x at all i didn't call down there you know on uber occasions to see how everything was going and all that stuff and they said the launch is going smoothly as planned and everything. They just like, you know, it's kind of like, wow, you know, this is, you know, they just have like little minor hiccups like with, with, with like with password resets and people getting their passwords and all that stuff. But they haven't had any kind of major problems as far as I'm concerned. And that's my experience by calling Microsoft customer service, which, by the way, is the best customer service out of, out of all three systems. Sony can't touch their customer service. I don't know about Nintendo, but I know Sony can't touch uh, Microsoft customer service. And that's all it is to it. But I tell you right now, this machine right here is going to make Sony, they're going to have to do their work. Uh, and that's all it is to it. Uh, the graphic uh, is a whole lot better. It's, it's true 4K um, enhancements and all that stuff. Um, for the Motorsport 7 is an elegant game. Um, the colors really do pop out at you. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. Um, Gears of War, I, I played Gears of War last night. Oh, it's a, oh man, it's like, I played it on the S, and then I played it on the X, 
on the Xbox X, let me tell you. It is mind-blowing how beautiful the game is. The color is just, it's just out there. The draw distance is just so good. You can, you can tell the difference between night and day between the two. Um, and, that's, and that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. And uh, Quantum Break, you know, uh, right now it's downloading. I can't wait to see that game. I want to see that game enhanced. Um, I want to see how good that game is going to be really enhanced. Um, Cuphead, well, Cuphead, it, you know, I'm not really sure they're going to get our dance element. It's, it, But that game is good for itself. Even though I, I have not played it that much, fellas, let's get this shit straight. I haven't played that much, but I do like the game and I do support my brand. So when it comes down to that, I don't hear nobody talk about that, okay? I do support my brand. And uh, my, my boy Cuphead, Cuphead, Cuphead Jr., shut up, okay? I don't want to hear your mouth, okay? I had enough of you yesterday. Um, but I tell you right now, y'all, um, and I'm just looking forward to the future of what's going on with the Xbox X, okay, and Microsoft. Uh, Phil Spencer done a good job, and I'm glad that he's bringing out new studios. That's another thing I want to talk about. He's bringing out good studios and all that stuff. Um, like I said, I haven't played every game. I haven't played every game in in enhance in in enhance um, uh, graphics. They enhance graphics on the on the on the on the on the X, but I'm very sure that it's going to be beautiful. Um, they say Call of Duty is just phenomenal. I haven't got that. Um, my my son got that. He said that's just. He said, Dad, that's just a beautiful game. It all in it, all in his glory. So he gave Activision, you know, their kudos for for doing a whole lot better job on that. Um, basically, and I mean, I saw Madden. Madden looks good. I mean, it's Madden, it's Madden, but it, the, you can tell the colors are much more richer into the into the video game now. So um, I like that too. Uh, there's a whole lot of my other games that I'm going to go ahead and try. Um, like I said, uh, my boy. Um, Assassin, the new Assassin's Creed game is another great game. Um, and really basically about it, but, you know, but um, it, it is what it is. I mean, Microsoft did a good job with the game. Uh, people want to keep on, you know, down to Microsoft for what they do. Microsoft had pushed the element on every double console, especially 360, plus the, plus the, the Xbox and the Xbox Slim, and now the Xbox S. Okay, they get new. They get they get um Xbox X. I think went through maybe like three or four UIs, you know, new interfaces, and I think the Xbox One itself has went through like a couple of uh, new interfaces. So I give you know I give Microsoft their credit for doing all of that. Okay, um, if we gonna sit here and talk about if we really gonna sit here and talk about what's going on, Tina Tucker, wanna read it or ignore it? If we want to really sit here and talk about what's really going on um, with this console war, you know, come at it. Because when it comes down to it, Microsoft doing the best job they can. And people want to bitch and complain about what they're doing, what they're not doing. But they don't never ever complain about what Sony's doing. And that, you know, I mean, let's put it like this, y'all. What has Microsoft have done? Okay. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the, the quick research on what Microsoft has done. They give you backwards compatibility. Okay. On both on both ends, OG Xbox games backwards compatibility, 360 games backwards compatibility. Okay, that's an advancement right there. Okay, for 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 the money. Okay, we got EA Access. You can't beat EA Access. I mean, if you got it, you are gonna enjoy it. You are gonna love it. Okay, because there's games that come on there. After the game been out for a while, they put them on the EA Access. I mean, they put them on the EA Access. So you can play them. So it's a win-win situation for Microsoft and EA on that, and it's win-win for really for the gamers. Um, you know, they give you the new UIs. You know, I mean, like I said, I can't question the UI. I mean, the the interface. The interface is just beautiful. Um, that's something that Sony's not doing. They don't do it like regular on a regular basis. I haven't seen. I haven't seen them do anything with the UI. Anything. So besides just gripe, bitch, and moan, complain about the people, complain about this, complain about that. So let them complain. 
But people, just be for real. Um, when y'all talk about games and everything and all that stuff, okay, let's talk about games, okay? Now you say Xbox don't have any games. You say Microsoft don't have any, and Xbox don't have any games. What games are you talking about? Are you talking about Japanese RPGs? To me, anybody can get them, okay? And I'm and I'm very sure that Microsoft had them on the 360, and they didn't sell all that great. So I know they had them on 360. They didn't sell all that great because, you know, let's be honest, us American people, man, dude, we're not. Some of us, we're just spoiled. Okay, some of us just want good quality stuff, and we don't want the dog thing where you turn around and hit the buttons and and everything does everything by itself. No, we want to do the, do the stuff ourselves. And I'm not telling a lie; I'm telling the truth. Uh, Japanese RPGs, I think they cool, they cool and everything, but they're not my cup of tea. And they might not be a lot of other people's cup of teas either. But I mean, to each their own. Uh, now, when it comes down to like exclusives and all that stuff, okay, if you want to talk about the whole generation of the Xbox and the PS brand, yes. Yeah, PS4, PS got more exclusive overall. But when it comes down to this generation right here, they're not that far from each other. It's like a neck and neck competition. When it comes down to this, gen to this generation, I ain't talking about the past generation. I'm talking about generation that's going on right now. So don't hand me that crap what Xbox don't do. Xbox got games. They got good quality games. They might not have the games that Sony per so they got, but you don't even know when Sony's gonna come out with these games. I mean, I heard that they got finally got a date for for, for God of War. About damn time. But the thing about it is, it's gonna be a single player game. It's not gonna have no multiplayer. So after you get through with the damn game, what you gonna do? You gonna wait for the add-ons? And then it's going to be so many add-ons, and after that, what you going to do? Hey, once you get through with the game, you're going to throw the damn game, and you're going to give it to GameStop, GameStop going to make their money, and that's it, if you don't buy it digital. But, Kid Town 11, that game right there, I wouldn't buy digital because I know it ain't going to be, it's not going to be worth nothing at the end of the doggone day. You might play it one or two times, and after that, you, you toss it aside. So, let's just be honest, okay? Um... Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. That's another. That's another game. Single player game, multiplayer game. After you get through with it, you're done. It's going right. It's going right. I mean, if you bought a disc, it's going right back to uh, GameStop where you can get something from trade in value. And the trade in values ain't shit on them damn games out of the wow. Um, there's a lot of games that Sony got that are single player, and I can't name all of them. But after you get through with them, you ain't going to play them no more. Let's just be honest, okay? And I'm just going to be honest with y'all guys. You're not going to play the game no damn more, okay? But here on this uh, on this other side, okay, you got Microsoft. They got Gears of War. Multiplayer, single player. And you get through the single player, you can play the multiplayer, okay? That's, that's value for your money. Halo, Halo 5, here we go. Multiplayer, single player. It got the same stuff that, that Sony got with their stuff. I mean, with the, with, the, with, the, with the cinematic and all that stuff. It might not be as good, but it's still good enough. Um, you know, here we go again. You got Forza Motorsport Sports 7. Hey, here we go again. Got a single player, got a multiplayer. So, the way you get through the single player, you can always play the multiplayer and play it as long as you want. Okay? And then there's a whole lot of game. I mean, uh, Horizon Zero. I mean, um, um, I forgot the name of the game, but part three of the other, but the other racing game that Sony got, I mean, that uh, that Microsoft got. Here we go again. Multiplayer, single player. So, to me, when you talk about games like that, who got, who got the better value? Microsoft games or Sony games? Bottom line. The bottom line that, that once you get through with Sony games, it's done. It's done. I mean, after a while, you're done with the game and you ain't going to play it again. So let's just be honest with you and all that stuff. Um, but if I have it right now, you know, I'm going to get off here because I think I went over my 
I mean, I went on my limit a little bit, but right now, you know, this is your boy DJ Cugmaster. You know, Sony fans and Xbox, well, really Sony fans, I mean, not really Xbox fans, don't, don't down about what Microsoft don't have because we do have them. Is it that y'all just want to bicker about little stuff that don't have no irrelevant what the hell is going on? So don't sit there and tell me that Microsoft don't have games because they do. Like I said, all the games that Microsoft that I didn't call off, those are exclusive games that Microsoft makes themselves, and they got good multiplayer, good single player aspects to it. Yes, it might be the same damn game, but you can still play it over and over. Here we got we got Crackdown. This is Gary come out. It's gonna have a single player. It's gonna have an online experience. So let's talk about what's going on. So. Overall, when you want to turn around and talk about Microsoft and Sony, yes, you know, you want to talk about them got 76 million ship and all that stuff. Okay, listen, that's that's 64 million ship or 79 million sold, whatever they want to say. So what is it? Is it 64 million ship or is it 79 million sold? Okay. I mean, we already know what Microsoft did. They didn't already turn and did the thing for live. They didn't get over 53 million, I think 53 to 59 million people online. And that's good. So, as of right now, this is your boy Tugmaster. I love all my all my boys in Ultra Media Gaming. Um, I love all my boys and all my boys, I mean, all the sisters and brothers out there that's in my group. Um, all I got to say is this to y'all. Y'all have a nice day. And like I said, my boy Hebot. That was nice of you to give me a birthday present, and I do give you, you and your family all the kudos and everything and all that stuff. But right now, I am out of here in the people in Puerto Rico. God bless you. We dealing with we dealing with a guy that don't have no dog on sitting. You know who I'm talking about, so I don't even mention his name. You know who I'm talking. About. They don't have no common sense at all. But as of right now, the people in Puerto Rico, God bless you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.